Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the strength. So I would like to explain this topic in a very simple and easy way. So let's consider that this is in a cube and this cube is made of the concrete. I just took an example of this cube in order to explain this strength lecture. So in this cube has been exposed to any external load of magnitude P. So there is external load acting on this tube. So due to this load there will be some resistance created inside this material in order to take this upcoming load. So this is the internal resistance created in this material to take this load. So this internal resistance is let's suppose represented by F. So the higher the internal resistance of the material, we can say that higher the strength of the material is. So let's suppose that there is an external load of 1000 kN that this material can take. The maximum external load that this material can take is 1000 kN. So the internal resistance will be also a magnitude of 1000 kN. Because at 1000 kN this material breaks. So 1000 kN is the maximum load that this material can take. So 1000 kN is also the maximum internal resistance of this material. So now the strength can be defined as the force, the maximum internal force the material can take divided by the cross-sectional area of the material is known as the strength of the material. Now force is F and area is A. Now let's suppose that this force is 1000 kN and the area, let's suppose the dimension of this is 0 0.5 meter and 0 0.5 meter. These are the dimension of this concrete cube. So if I divide by the area 0 0.5 into 0 0.5, so we got 4000 kN per square meter or we can say 4 megapascal. So this is the compressive strength of this material. Why it's called compressor? Because the load was in the compressor action. It was in the compressor direction. That's why we call it the compressor. If the load was along the other direction like in this way, in order to expand the material or elongate the material, so we call that there will be tensile strength of the material. But hence, this load was able to compress the material. So that's why we call it the compressor strength of the material. Similarly, if we took this is in a steel bar and there is a load applied on this steel bar is a tension load P. So in order to resist this load, there will be some internal resistance created in this material and this internal resistance is represented by F. So this is now is called is the tensile resistance or we can say the tensile strength of the material because the load was in the tensile action. The load was acting as a tensile load. So now the strength or tensile strength will be equal to the load, the force, internal force dividing by the area of the steel bar. So area of the steel bar. So it will be the tensile strength of this material. Hope you guys understand the basic concept of the strength. And don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.